Alaska is a huge and stunning place, much bigger than the countries UK, Germany, Japan, and France combined. It's about twice the size of Texas, which is really massive. But surprisingly, not many people live there, only around 736,000. That's like a small city in the US, not a big and powerful state. So why don't more people live in Alaska? Is there something wrong with this beautiful place? In this video, we'll explain why. There are many reasons why Alaska doesn't have a lot of people living there. One big reason is the land itself. Alaska has rough and wild landscapes with huge mountains and lots of wilderness. The weather can be tough too. Living here means you need to be really tough and flexible. Another reason is that Alaska is far away from the rest of the United States. This makes it hard to move things like food and supplies, which can be expensive and take a long time. Because of this, not many people or businesses want to settle there, and that stops it from growing quickly. Some people are drawn to Alaska because it's like an adventurous, wild frontier. They love exploring new and untamed places and living a rugged lifestyle. But for others, the feeling of being so far away from everything can be a bit lonely. This feeling of being alone can be good and bad when it comes to getting more people to live there. Alaska's history and economy have been greatly influenced by industries like oil and gas. These industries have brought money to the state, but they have also caused people to move in and out depending on job opportunities. This makes it hard for a stable community to grow. Additionally, native Alaskans have faced discrimination over the years, which has affected the state's population. Efforts to make things right are ongoing, but the effects of past unfair treatment still impact the state today. Alaska also has challenges like not having enough roads, affordable housing, and good health care. These things make life in Alaska more difficult and less attractive to potential residents. This is why the population doesn't grow quickly. But Alaska has its own unique charm and history. It started as a distant place after the United States bought it from Russia in 1867. Gold was discovered, cities like Juneau and Fairbanks were built, and transportation systems like the Alaskan Railroad and Highway were created. Then oil was found, which boosted Alaska's economy. However, connecting it to the rest of the United States was a big challenge. It wasn't until 1977, when the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline was finished, that this problem was solved. But it also brought new environmental and social issues. Alaska is a special place, because it doesn't have a tax on the money people earn, which makes it attractive for both residents and businesses. It has a strong economy thanks to tourism, oil, construction, and real estate with a total money value called GDP of almost $50 billion. It's one of the richest places per person in the whole country. People are drawn to Alaska because it has lots of open space, values, personal freedom, and celebrates people who are tough and independent. People from all over the world come here to explore and have adventures. However, even with all these great things, not many new people are moving to Alaska. In fact, the number of people coming to live here has been slow since 2016, growing by just 2.6% since 2010. There are a few reasons for this. First, Alaska has really tough weather, especially in the winter. It gets extremely cold, sometimes as low as negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit or even colder. It's also dark for most of the day during the winter, which can be tough to handle. Because of this, not many people want to live here year round, even if they're used to cold weather. The winters here are long, lasting for about eight months each year. So only a small number of people who actually enjoy this kind of weather choose to live in Alaska. Most tourists prefer to visit during the nicer summer months. Besides the harsh weather, Alaska is prone to natural disasters like winter storms, tsunamis, floods, wildfires, volcanoes, and landslides. Because Alaska is so big and far away from other places, it can be really tough to deal with these emergencies. All of these things make it hard to convince people to make Alaska their permanent home. The geography of Alaska also plays a big role in why more people don't live here. It's a huge state with lots of remote areas, which can make it difficult to live and get around. Many parts of Alaska are tough to live in because they have mountains, lakes, swamps, and other difficult land. Getting to some places is hard, and you might have to cross mountains, volcanoes, glaciers, and rocky land. In some areas, there aren't even roads, so people have to use water planes to reach small, isolated villages scattered around the state. These tough geographic challenges make Alaska mostly wild and stop many folks from moving there. Also, it's expensive to live in Alaska. It's far from other places. The weather is extreme, and there aren't enough roads and services. All of this makes the cost of everyday things higher than in other parts of the country. Traveling within Alaska can be pricey, 
often needing flights or ferries to reach far off areas. You need special vehicles with the right tires for snowy roads. Plus, heating bills and housing costs can really put a strain on your wallet. Alaska doesn't have much infrastructure for economic development. Most jobs in the state are about taking things from nature, like cutting trees or digging for minerals. These jobs don't help build new things or create a lot of new opportunities. Even the fishing industry, which is big, has its main offices outside the state. The lack of good infrastructure makes Alaska less appealing for people looking for modern comforts and better chances. Finding a job can also be hard in Alaska. Many jobs are only available during certain times of the year, and the pay might not be worth dealing with the tough conditions and high costs of living. It's tough to find a good job, and often people find better ones in other states that offer a more comfortable life and more types of jobs. Lastly, safety is a concern in Alaska. Crime, especially in places like Anchorage, has been going up, and that worries both people who live there and those thinking of moving. The high rate of violent crimes makes some folks want to find safer places to live, and this adds to the decline in Alaska's population. So, life in Alaska depends on what you consider normal and what challenges you're willing to face. If your idea of normal means living in a busy city with all the latest technology and conveniences, then Alaska might not be the place for you. But if your idea of normal is a self-reliant lifestyle in a quieter place, surrounded by stunning natural beauty and lots of chances to enjoy the outdoors, then Alaska could be just right for you. Alaska is the biggest state in the U.S., and it's known for its vast wilderness, unique geography, a special kind of weather, and a rich culture. It has a sub-Arctic climate, which means it has long, cold winters and short, cool summers with a good amount of snow. Even though the weather can be tough, people who live there love to do things like hunting and fishing. They really embrace the rugged beauty of the land. But in recent years, more Alaskans have been leaving to find better opportunities elsewhere. In 2020, about 1,600 more people moved away from Alaska than moved in, and this has been happening since 2016. They often head to places like the Pacific Northwest, the Sun Belt, Texas, Colorado, and California, known for their strong economies and outdoor lifestyles. Despite all this, Alaska still has a powerful appeal for many people. Its wild beauty and unique culture draw in those who want to live close to nature. But for others, the search for better job prospects takes them away from Alaska. Now, we'd like to know what you think about Alaska's charm and what makes people stay or leave. Would you be willing to face the challenges of living in this untamed state and call it your home? Our mission is to make geography come alive, to inspire curiosity about the world around us, and to foster a deeper understanding of our planet's incredible diversity. Thank you for joining us on another journey through the fascinating world of modern geography. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep exploring with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. You never miss an update.